welcome back to my channel. This is Injury Ella, and for today, I will be showing you how to solve work problems in algebra. So the formula for work problems is this, 1 over TA plus 1 over TB equals 1 over TB, where TA is the time it takes for A to complete a job, TB is the time it takes for B to complete a job, and TT is the time it takes for A and B to complete a job together. So the one here denotes one complete job that is done by a person, a machine. And the T here at the bottom is the time it takes for that specific person or machine to complete one job. So let's have some examples. So example number one, a laborer can finish a job in four days. Another laborer can finish the job in six days. If both laborers plus a third laborer can finish the job in two days, how long will it take for the third laborer to finish the job alone? Okay, so for this problem, we are going to use the formula that I discussed a while ago. So that will be 1 over TA plus 1 over TB. And since meron tayong tatlong laborers, mag a pa tayo ng isa dito. So 1 over TC plus yung total time nila. Okay? So, given na tayo ng mga time that took them, except for laborer C, okay, yung third laborer, but given tayo ng total time nilang lahat. Okay? So, that will be 1 over time ni A, that will be 4 days, plus time ni B, that's 6 days, plus time ni C, hindi natin alam, plus the total time, which is 2 days. So, 2 yan dito. And then, isasob lang natin siya algebraically. So, kunin natin yung um, LCM ng 4, 6, and 2. That will be 12. Multiply both sides. So, simplifying, that will be 3 plus 2 plus 12 over TC. And then, this one, 12 divided by 2, that will be 6. So, transpose natin sa kabila. This will be 12 over TC equals 6 minus 5, which is 1. Okay, and of course, since we're going to find TC, then reciprocal din, din natin siya, or we can actually multiply both sides by TC. So, we get TC, or the total time for T to finish the job alone is 12 days. Okay, so that is the answer for this problem. So let's proceed to the next problem, problem number two. A swimming pool has two inlet pipes. One can fill the pool in 10 hours while the other in 12 hours. How soon can the two pipes fill the pool to 75% capacity? So again, applicable dito yung formula natin. Okay, so that will be one over, let's call the first pipe A. So lagay ko na lang ng A dito. And then the second pipe, okay, let's call it B. So ito yung rate niya. Equals, okay, so dahil given dito na 75% capacity lang, meaning um, hindi siya one complete job. So instead of one yung ilalagay natin, we will put um 75% of one, which is 0 0.75. Kasi ito lang yung capacity or yung um job done for the two pipes na hinahanap natin. So, let's call na lang the total time T. So, again, given na tayo ng um, hours ng A and hours ng B, so, kukunin na lang natin yung total time that would take both of them to do the job. Okay? So, again, substitute lang tayo 10 hours. So, that will be 10 plus 1 over 12 hours was 0.75 over T. And then we can solve it algebraically. So um, it's easier if you can use your calculator, use shift solve. And if you do that, you will get that the T for both of them to complete 75% capacity is 4.09 hours. So that is how you solve this problem. Okay, so for problem number three, A and B can do the job in 38 days, B and C can finish it in 32 days, 
while C and A can finish it in 24 days. In how many days can all of them do the work together? So, lang din yung working equation natin. Okay, so A and B can do the job in 38 days. So, that will be 1 over 38. Okay, what else? B and C daw. So, again, natin dito, 1 over B plus 1 over C can finish it in 32 days. So, that will be 1 over 32. And then, C and A can finish it in 24 days. So, Lagi natin dito, A and C can finish it in 24 days. Okay? So, hinahanap natin yung um, days for them to do the work together. So, um, working equation natin will be, sama-sama silang lahat, 1 over A plus 1 over B plus 1 over C. And we don't know it yet. So, lagi lang natin yung 1 over T in total time. Dito, hindi tayo given directly ng um, individual um, time nila to finish the job alone. Okay? But we are given yung mga combination ng time nila. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, as you can see, meron tayong um, three equations. We can combine these equations to form another equation. So, i-add lang natin sila. So, as you can see, dito may 1 over A. Pwede natin siyang i-combine with this one. So, that will be 2 over A plus, ito naman, 1 over B plus 1 over B, that will be 2 over B plus, lastly, itong dalawa na yan. So, that will be 2 over C. And adding the right side of the equation, this will be 1 over 38 plus 1 over 32 plus 1 over 24. So, simplify lang natin to. No? So, i-add natin tong right side. Kapag in-add natin yan, ang magiging sagot is 181 over 1,824. But meron pa tayong 2 dito. So, simplify lang natin. No? So, we need to multiply both sides by 1 half. So, ang magiging resulting equation nito, I'll just put it here at the top. That will be 1 over A plus 1 over B plus 1 over C equals, eto, 181 over 1,824 times 1 half. That will be 181 over 3,648. So now, as you can observe here, this one is synonymous to this one. Okay? So meaning, if we equate natin to, we can equate this with this, right? Kasi equal lang sila. Okay, so doing that, no, meron tayong 1 over T equals 181 over 3,648. And since we are looking for the time, we can just reciprocate this one. So T will be equal to 3,648 over 181. And if we are going to divide that, we will get 20 days. So this is the answer. This is the number of days that A, B, and C can finish the job if they work together. So that's it, guys. If you have learned something from this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you can, please click the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga bagong uploads ko. And you can also follow me on my social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Engineer Ella. Thank you so much, guys. See you on my next video. Bye!